It is indeed an honor for uh, Somaliland to host this important meeting for the first time. Much credit and thanks goes to Shiraco, uh, the event organizers, who with the support of the Minist Somaliland Ministry of Energy and Minerals made this event happen here in Hergesa, Somaliland's capital. There are attendees from countries across the you know, region, including Somaliland, Somalia, Djibouti, the Somali region of Ethiopia, and even as far as Addis are attending here in this uh, forum today, in the coming four days. This is a purely a technical forum, which will greatly benefit the participants from the energy sector in the region to share ideas and listen to a wide range of experts in the renewable energy field in order to promote and encourage meaningful renewable energy development projects in the region. I have been asked by Shoraka to make opening remarks and will take this opportunity to touch on the challenges as well as the opportunities that the region faces in having access to clean and affordable energy. I'll particularly focus on the Somaliland experience in this regard. However, please note that the challenges that we face here in the energy sector is not much different than does those felt in the entire region. Mother Earth and the natural environment around us is changing in front of our very eyes. The negative human impact on the environment worldwide is undeniable. These common effects include decreased water quality, deforestation, depletion of natural resources, ever decreasing wildlife species, the depletion of fish stocks, increased pollution, increased greenhouse gas emissions, which results in global warming. As a result, this affects, uh, this affects weather patterns around the world are changing for the worse, resulting in cataclysmic weather events, such as severe and prolonged droughts, wide ranging wildfires, and intense storms that result in massive floods. In the whole of Africa region and in many parts of Africa, the lack of access to affordable energy is, is directly linked to environmental degradation, such as deforestation and erosion. Likewise, there is direct correlation between access to affordable energy and poverty levels among the peoples of the region. Electricity generation in Somaliland is mostly done through diesel generators. The installed capacity is under 100 megawatts. Consequently, the country has one of the highest electricity rates in the world, ranging from a dollar to 80 cents per kilowatt. Thanks to recent drop in oil prices and consequently the cost of diesel, electricity rates have recently dropped by an average of 20 cents. As you can see, Somaliland is currently an energy poor country. However, it is a renewable energy rich country. The country is endowed with year round sun that provides an average of 11 hours of sunshine per day. Somaliland also poses one of the highest wind speeds in the continent. These two renewable energy resources, if tapped, can, am can supply ample quantities of clean, affordable energy to the nation that can mitigate the harmful environmental effects of biomass and fossil fuel use. However, there are huge challenges that is common to the countries in the region, as well as other parts of the continent that stand in the way of developing and accessing these key renewable energy resources. These challenges are many, but include the high upfront investment cost to get real estate projects off the, gr off the ground, lack of human resources, expertise, and experienced engineers, little attention by most governments to the role that the renewable energy projects can, can play in rural electrification. Inadequate feasibility studies to map out and identify the capacity of all real estate resources in each country. Limited energy infrastructure and its management capabilities. Lack of well-coordinated approach to large real estate projects. Poor, uh, poor underutilization of the regional real estate sources such as solar, wind, and hydroelectric power and and on and on and on. Despite all these challenges, however, Somaliland is doing all it can in small ways to embrace the use of renewable energy development projects. Only a few years ago, there was little understanding or use 
of solar panels or wind turbines in Somaliland. In Somaliland. With, with, the ministries, with the Ministry of Energy's involvement in spearheading pilot projects, conducting awareness, raising, uh, awareness raising in the public, and the power producers, there is a steady and growing use of real estate, I mean, uh, 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 renewable energy in Somaliland, however limited. The ministry paved the way for the promotion of renewable energy through the development of an energy policy that was adopted by the government in 2010. The ministry also initiated the development of an electricity regulatory framework for Somaliland. A Somaliland Electricity Act has been drafted and is planned to be enacted into law this year. The act, which is currently under revision with expert assistance funded by DFID, will establish an energy regulatory commission that will regulate the electricity sector to attract investment into Somaliland's electricity sector and ensure best practices. The small wind farm that power our airport in Hargeisa is an example of the, of, of the embrace of, real, of renewable energy in Somaliland. When the system was completed in 2013, a number of similar projects propagated in all regions of Somaliland. There are at least dozen such wind turbine projects that are either operational or under the planning stages or under construction here in the country. Solar power projects are also seeing a steady growth in Somaliland. Last year, the town of Las Anod power supplier, Lesco, commissioned a first of its kind in the country uh, in Af actually, first of its kind in Africa, as a matter of fact, hybrid solar power project that meets the most of the city's power needs during the day. The power supplier of the city of Boro, HECO, is about to complete the largest solar power plant in Somaliland that will meet the daytime power supply needs of the city. Other IPPs are all are in, in Somaliland are following suit and are planning wind wind and solar renewable energy products to augment their power supply capacity that comes mostly from diesel fire generators. A renewable energy mini-grid project called ESRES is funded by, funded by DFED is currently underway in Somaliland which will support the development of renewable energy mini-grid uh, mini systems in selected villages, towns and cities in Somaliland. Despite these measurable initiatives, these renewable energy projects constitute a very small percentage of the total power supply of the country. These efforts to tap into available renewable resources that Somaliland is endowed with will continue to grow and be supported and encouraged by this government. Another option that Somaliland government is considering is to provide access to additional affordable clean energy for its people by interconnecting with Ethiopia's burgeoning hydroelectric power supply. In my capacity as the Minister of Energy of Somaliland, I held multiple meetings with my counterpart in Ethiopia in the past, as well as with the Ethiopian Electric Power Company leaders to initiate a dialogue between the two countries to enhance and cultivate this mutually beneficial cross-border cooperation in the power sector. Did the talks between the two countries are moving forward and have made good progress. Somaliland has one of the best telecommunication services in Africa. We reached this advancement in telecommunication by leapfrogging the old telephone pole hardwired telecommunication systems uh, using modern state-of-the-art 4G wireless systems. Hence, the cost of telecom services are very affordable in Somaliland. We want to follow the same strategy to leapfrog the old-style smokestack power generation systems of the past and move to the use of modern clean energy technologies to generate and distribute sustainable and affordable electric power for our people. Access to clean energy for the region's inhabitants will go a long way towards reducing the harmful effects of human activity to save our environment for the sustainability of our livelihoods. The Somaliland government is doing all it can to promote and incentivize the increased use of the clean renewable energy technologies to reduce the ongoing pressures on downing trees for biomass energy use and to wean ourselves away 
from relying on expensive carbon-based power supply. Renewable energy forms such as this one is useful to promote the sustainable energy generation and use to provide clean, affordable energy for the peoples of the region. It's a great opportunity for the electric power producers of Somaliland and to network among themselves in this energy forum, as well as network with their neighbors attending this forum and exchange success stories as well as challenges. A slew of international experts will also speak at this forum, which will be of great benefit for the attendees to listen to improve their ability to adapt to the use of clean, affordable energy technologies of the future. I strongly advise the participants to make the most of this useful gathering. Thanks you all for listening, and I wish you a very successful forum, which I'm sure you will have.